and start with the Dhyana Shloka first. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vikasa Swami Nidhinamini Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nidhinamini Namaste Saraswate Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Aschakya Deshatarini जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादिखोर भक्त बिंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे पूजन तम राम राम हरे मधुरम मधुराक्षरम आरुक्य कविता शाका वंदे वाल्मीकि को किन्हीं कांचने यमदी पासलाना कांचनात्री कमनी यविक्रहम पारिजाता तरु बोलावासीनम् यत्र यत्र रघुनाथ कीर्तनम् तत्र तत्र कृतमस्तकं चले बाष्पावारि परिपूर्णलोचनम् मारुतिमुनि नमदराक्षसं तकं वाल्मीकि गिरि संबोधा रामसागर गामिनी पुनातु बबनम पुन्या रामायन महानदी। I just want to touch upon the meaning of this shloka for today। वाल्मीकि गिरि संबोधा means starting from the mountain of वाल्मीकि। so what starts in a mountain? It is generally when rain, when it rains, water starts to move from the mountains. Valmiki Giri Sambhuta Rama Sagar Gamini. That river is flowing towards the ocean called Rama because all the words, all the charita, everything that is spoken by Valmiki is in praise of Lord Rama. So they are all flowing towards the wonderful, graceful Sri Rama that we all know. And what does it do as it flows, as a river flows, uh, it, it collects various materials, minerals from there and takes it along with it flowing to the ocean. Similarly, we also want to jump on into this river of Ramayana by doing Shravana of Ramayana and join this journey to the ocean. Just as Kunti is uh, requesting and praying to the Lord. What is Kunti's prayer? Can somebody tell me what is Kunti's prayer? With regard to a river, in connection to a river, can I hear some contribution? Please. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes, Riya. Uh, yeah, Prabhu, uh, Kunti Maharani always prays that let more and more difficulties uh, come unto me. Thank you. Thank you for that contribution. Kunti, uh, one of the contributors says, Kunti is praying, may, may I have more and more difficulties. That's one. But I, I want something in connection with river and flowing towards the Lord. Tvai me ananya vishaya matir madupate sakrit ratim mudvahata daddha gangai ohamudan vati. So, similarly, punatu bhavanam punya, just as this Ramayana Nadi is flowing through, what does it do? It purifies uh, everybody who comes across its way. So our prayer to Rama, our prayer to Ramayana, our prayer to Valmiki is that he purify us and take us towards the ocean called Rama. Hare Krishna. And then with a final prayer to Rama himself. Vaidehi Suradram Vaidehi Sahitam Suradram Atale Hai Me Maha Mantape Madde Pushpakamasane Manimaye Virasane Sustitam Agreva chayate prabhanjana sute tattvam munibhya param Vyashyantam paratadibihi paribhrutam Ramam bhaje shyamalam Ramam bhaje shyamalam So, I move on to today's major session. If you see, today's section was labeled Buy your father a greeting card. Okay? I will come to why that meaning uh, why I gave that title for the day's session. But before that, we will look at our major uh, directions of today. So we saw that Kaike is already communicated to Rama. 
what has to be communicated. But Rama, we saw clearly, was more shocked about the fact that his father was not interacting with him. The father who always used to have, um, even if he was angry at the time Rama arrived, but as soon as he sees Rama, those eyes became happy, those eyes became pleasant. This is the greatness of uh, uh, Rama and the, and the Dasharatha exchange that they used to have. This father, for this once, I don't see that happiness. Have I done something wrong? Have I been the cause of the problem? Why is it that my father didn't think me worthy that I could, he could call me and tell me directly, my son, this kingdom is not for you. Was it so difficult for him to, did I, have I made it so difficult for him to share this with me? Uh, have I been that bad a son that my father can't tell this to me? So this is the major uh, conundrum or the confusion that Rama is having again and again, which he is addressing Kaikeyi, which fi finally Kaikeyi tells him, no, your father is not angry with you. You have not done anything wrong. But there are these two booms that I sought and the result of the two booms. So, uh, the as I mentioned to you, Rama seemed even happier after hearing uh, that whole um, uh, narration that he has to go to the forest because he is, he is actually fulfilling the father's uh, Satya that he gave, enabling his father, serving his father, serving the king, going by the instructions of the elders. He had to do everything right to actually go to the forest. Yes? And if he had said no, he would go wrong on all these counts. So that's the beauty about it. So we will move on with today's section. Tavatvaham sham manye na utsukasya vilambanam. So she is saying, now, you are so interested, oh Rama, I am seeing that you are so enthusiastic at this point. So, why should I delay you? I don't want to delay you any further. So, please move. She is already in her mind thinking she is going to call Bharata. Oh, good. This guy has accepted it. Now, let us see where we are going to move next. Shigram Varamtham Gantumarhasi. You have to go to the forest soon. Huh? And then she is saying, now what is your problem? You know why your father is not talking to you? Viridavanti Swayam Nripa Because the king himself is feeling ashamed that he has to communicate to you. Therefore, he is not speaking to you at this point in time. So then, she gives one last point I mentioned earlier. Rama is asking, oh very nice. My brother is, you are going to do coronation for my brother. Very nice. I will be here. I will be here to watch the coronation and then I will go. Oh, so here is Kaike thinking, oops, who wants Rama here? If Rama is going to be here for even one more week till the time Bharata comes, already the people are so attached. This problem is going to become much more difficult to handle. I have to remove Rama out of this place as soon as possible. That's her core goal. So what does she see? You see, what does she say at this point? You see the lie that she is going to say. It's a clean, plain lie. <laughs> Yavatvam Navanam Yataha Hey Rama, till the time you don't go to the forest. Huh? What is going to happen? Vanam Na Yataha Nas Nasyate Bokshase Diva She says, your father has told me that he will not eat and he will not take bath. Till the time you don't go. What does this mean to a son? What does this mean to Rama? This means to Rama that the father is giving a reason by which he will be able to force the son out of the particular place. That because I will not eat, I will give up my life. It's, it's, it's something like that. This hurts Rama so badly. But more than Rama, when this is this is stated actually immediately Valmiki says Rama feels like a whipped horse, a horse of a good breed. See, there are many types of horses. There is one horse you will use for Tonga. Usko kuch kilate nahi hai. Uh, it has no energy in it and it has no special capabilities in it. Yes, that is one horse. On the other hand, there is another horse. That horse is like the horse that goes for racing. That horse is nourished taken care of, 
kissed, uh, taken, given bath every day, given the best medication, taken care of in every way. And that horse, if by any chance you are going to give it one whipping, it will go berserk. It will go completely crazy. Yes. So that's the point that's being made here. Valmiki is saying Rama is reacting like a pedigree horse to a whipping. So immediately Rama's sensation is my father wants me to leave immediately. And when this thought is running in his head, so then he heard, he hears a, a voice which says Dikkashtamiti. And whose voice is that? This is the voice of Dasharatha. Dasharatha who was lying down there suddenly is beating on his forehead and he says Dikkashta. Oh, what Kashta this is. Shokam Pariluktam. What is the situation? He is completely immersed in Shoka. He is completely able to uh, this is not acceptable. He never said this. Why is this being depicted? The Shoka is so choking him that he is not able to speak for himself. He is not. He doesn't want to even look at Rama because he is ashamed. And what happened to him? Murchito Nyapatat. He became Murchit, unconscious and he fell down from the couch that he was lying in. Uh, seeing him, having heard him scream, Dick Kashtam, uh, how bad, oh alas, what a fate, uh, what a situation. Hearing that, what does Rama do? Immediately look to the father and he sees him on the ground. He is running towards the father, picks him up, puts him back on the couch. But then Rama is feeling uh, much more peaceful because he is getting the second or the third indication that his father has nothing to do with it. This is something that Kaikeyi is put in place and his father unfortunately is having to be a puppet and play along at this uh, situation. So Valmiki is saying, uh, he is narrating what is Rama's feeling. So when Kaikeyi is trying to drive him out, Rama understands it is not Dasharatha, it is Kaikeyi. So he is asking her, Nanunammai Kaikeyi Kinchit Ashamsa Sehekunam Nanunam Mai Kaikei Hey Kaikei You have lived with me It's a bit of an odd uh, This thing uh, Practice Rama is calling her by her name Mother Nanunam Mai Kaikei Hey Kaikei You definitely have not In this 24 years You have not spotted one good quality in me Yes You, you have not understood me Or what I stand for Kinchit uh, you have not been able to uh, even expect this much quality out of me. It is okay uh, if a person's integrity is questioned. But not in an area like say, if a person, uh, I have many mistakes, but I never speak untrue. But when that person is going to be challenged and said that you are speaking untrue, it's going to hurt one badly. But in Rama's case, the character was simply impeccable in every sense. So how is it possible that, you know, when the people have all given the verdict, when the, all the kings have given the verdict, everybody in Rama's case, his enemies gave the verdict. The enemies' wives gave the verdict. The spies gave the verdict. There are so many people, these spies who came spying on, on Rama's camp. They ran back after they had been captured and left free. Without cutting their tails, without setting them on fire, without doing anything. Rama suggested that they be sent back so that they give the message to Ravana uh, intact. When they went there, these people started speaking about Rama. Even those spies who were right in front of Ravana were speaking the glories of Rama. This is the kind of personality whose Im impeccable character, even a spy who saw him for 24 minutes is able to understand but his Rama's feel is after 24 years of, of you are the mother who fed me and brought me up and you don't see this quality in me. Hmm? So for one who is speckless, a uh, white kurta. In a white kurta, you have one black dot. It's going to you know, be very, very, very evident. So a speckless person does not want any dots on his uh, armor. No chinks in his armor there. So... And it should never be such a blatant lie. 
what Kaike is saying here is a complete lie uh, with regard to Rama's uh, how she understands Rama or his quality because she thinks he will not be interested in giving up the kingdom for his brother or for, for, for his father for that matter. So Rama is trying to tell her now you think I am stuck to this wealth stuck to this position stuck to all this pomp uh, stuck to all of this so Rama is having to defend himself. One of the few times you see Rama having to speak to defend himself. But he's having to speak this in front of Kaikeyi and in front of his father. So Rama is in his defense speaking these verses. Naham artaparo devi. Hey devi. Artapara. I am the person after Fulus. Did I come to Dubai? Naham artaparo devi. Lokam maam. Avastum Utsahe. You think I have come into this world and what belongs to this world? Dunya mein jo log sab ichcha karte hain, all that wealth and pomp and that people want lokam. You think that is what I am after too? No. Vidhimam Rishivish Tulyam. Hey Kaikeyi, please understand. Vidhimam, understand me as what? Rishivishi Tulyam. As good as the rishis who are there. Kevalam Dharmama Spitam. Understand that I am as renounced uh, or as attached to higher principles. What is the principle? Kevalam Dharmama Spitam. I am here only for the sake of putting dharma in place. And that's my only duty and that's my only attachment. Not Naham Artha Paro Devi. That's not what I am looking for. And then he speaks a few words on what is dharma. This is the core topic of the day that's coming in. Nahite dharma charanam kinchidasti mahattaram. There is no nothing greater than following this dharma that I'm going to stay. And what is that dharma? Yata pitari sisrusha tasyava vachanakriya. There can be nothing greater than doing Sisrusha or Seva to one's father and Tasyava Vachanakriya to go according to what his words are. So he says there is no greater observance of righteousness than doing service to one's father. Hmm. So then the question can be if a father is an erring father like Dasharatha is actually sending a son out who has done no mistake in one sense. So then what happens? It makes no difference for Rama. The next sentence made Dasharatha weep tears like a child, scream out in agony. And what is he saying? Bharataha palayet rajyam. He says, please communicate this to Bharata o Kaikeyi. Bharataha palayet rajyam. Please ask Bharata to rule the kingdom well. And then, more importantly, Susrushochapituhyata. May he do Sisrusha or Seva to the parents. Yata Bhavatyaha Kartavyam. That is your Kartavya, that is your duty. Please communicate this to Bharata. Sahi Dharma Sanatanam. This is the actual eternal Dharma, O Bharata. Uh, it is your bounden duty to see that Bharata rules the kingdom and serves the father. Hearing this, here is a father who has banished his son. The son should be aggrieved in the usual course. Should be aggrieved, gali dega, babko. Hey, kya buddha admi, what are you doing? Who the hell you think you are? Who can stop me from taking the kingdom? Here is a completely different great personality. Father unable to speak the truth. Father is able to see that Kaike is clearly taking advantage of the affection of Rama for his father because he has promised to do follow uh, the words of his father that is one and second that he has he has promised his allegiance to Satya as the major leg of Dharma that he is following so he knows very well that Kaikeyi is taking advantage of these two so he is feeling so bad but after after all that Anyaya uh, the unrighteous activity that is being done towards Rama still Rama is telling Kaikeyi 
please ask Bharata to come and rule properly. This is the main worry that the king has. So he has been uh, prepped up all his life to become the ruler. So he is saying this is our main dharma. Please ask Bharata to rule carefully and properly. And then comes the second point where he is saying please ask him to do service to the father. It's a very very important point. When he says that Dasharata is, is uh, Prarodam Mahaswanam Prarurodha Mahatswanam Prarurodha means he is crying in a full loud scream. He is screaming out aloud. Till now he was just weeping. He was beating his head. Spoke a few words. Spoke the names of Rama a few times. But here Sarama Sevacha Shrutva Having heard these words of Rama Brisham Dukkha Hatam Pita Brisham Dukkha Hata Being hit by Hurt by, killed by Dukkha, the Pita. Shoka, Ashaknum, Pana, Vana, Bhaktum. Being very, very hurt in Shoka. Prarurodha Mahaswanam. He is crying loudly. This is the state of uh, Dasharatha. Yavan. The next verse. Yavat Mataram Apne Cha Sitam Cha. Anuyam Yaham. What is he asking? He is asking, Rama is saying, Kai Kai, I am leaving. I will leave immediately. But I ask for just one small permission. It's a little out of the way. So, Kai Kai must be thinking, Oh, what's he going to ask for? No, no, please allow me to rule for one year, then I will go. What is he going to ask for? This is like a man who is asking for a last wish before he is being put on the, uh, uh, sent to the gallows to die. Uh, be, before he is being hung. So he is asking that I want one. I want one Icha that is fulfilled. Uh, tato Adhyaiva Gamishyami. I will go today and I will leave immediately. Sitamcha Anunayamyam. First, Mataram. I want to go meet my mother. Yavat Mataram. I want to first go meet my mother and speak to her. I want a few minutes for that. And I want a few minutes for that wonderful lady who has been doing, who got married to me and who is thinking of nothing but me, uh, for whom I am everything. Uh, for that mother who has been the house in which I resided for nine months. So I need to go speak to them and tell them. So then saying that immediately like a thoroughbred horse. He is running out of that place so that he will be able to go to the forest as soon as possible. So what did Rama do just before he left? Saramaha pitaram kritva kai keimcha pradakshinam. What did he do? Saramaha pitaram kritva kai keimcha. Father and kai kei pradakshinam. He did a pradakshina for both of them. Does he have to include Kai Kei? <laughs> That's the greatness of Rama. Now, I want to remind all of you that when Sumantra went to Rama's place, he was seeing Rama had just uh, completed taking bath and he was lying on the couch. Uh, he had just changed and there was Sita on the side serving him. And then when Rama comes out, he comes out like a lion, talks about the three courtyards, talks about the friends, talks about how... The people were in thousands in the streets and as the chariot was coming by, they moved out like a, a thimingila or a whale that is uh, floating in the water in one direction like that Rama is coming. How Rama was able to see everybody uh, with every single person, he had some kind of a communication there. How he was compared to a lion that is coming out of his den. What a beautiful scene. Uh, what royal, uh, uh, you know, grandeur. All of that had been so beautifully described. So all the people, they know nothing of what is happening inside Kaikeyi's room. And they know nothing what happened between Rama, Dasharatha and Kaikeyi inside there. Lakshmana was also there, participant to that, but there is nobody else. So nobody has a clue. Now let us see how everybody is seeing Rama as that great personality who is going to get crowned today to be king. And let us see 
what Rama has got in his thought and what everybody is thinking and how Rama gives them an opportunity to understand or does not give them an opportunity to understand what's happening. That's what we're going to see. Now, listen to this verse. Abhishechani kam bhandam ramam pradakshinam So Rama saw when he walked out of Kaike's space, the first thing he saw, he saw these big vessels that had been arranged for the Abhishek. So they were full of water and everything, Ganga, Jal, all the different Nadis, water had been bought so that they can prepare for this. So what did Rama do? He offered obeisances to that and he did one production to that. Uh, if it had been somebody else, they'd kick that water off and walk away in anger. Uh, Rama did a production to that and gazed at it for a few moments. And at the same time, there is a description. When, when they walked out of here, Lakshmana had tears. One was tears of anger that something like this has happened. And another is tears of joy that he is following somebody like this. As I mentioned to you later, when he met Hanuman, this is the first thing he tells Hanuman. He calls Hanuman aside. Hanuman and Lakshmana have an interesting exchange. Uh, he tells Hanuman, nobody asked me to come here and do service to this person. I have come here voluntarily on my own looking at the great qualities of this person. These qualities are what make a leader. Yes, these are the qualities that actually make a leader. So looking at those qualities, Hanuma, uh, Lakshmana naturally followed him. So Rama moved on. Then what did Rama do? There, there was immediately on seeing Rama, the guy with the umbrella, uh, everybody else and all the people started. So he said, leave the umbrella aside. He didn't get on the chariot. He said pranam to all the king, kingsmen. Yes. So everybody must be thinking, oh yeah. So he must have asked all these people to run away. No. The example is being given that there can be darkness, complete darkness around, but the moon is shining brightly. The full moon is always shining brightly, despite being in darkness. This is Rama's greatness in very, very difficult situation. For mankind, this is a situation of darkness. We have to be smiling. We have to be surrendered to Rama. We have to be, we have to take, this is not the kind of time we can change the direction of things that are moving. We have to be ready to accept whatever music he is going to play. We are going to accept that music. That tolerance and acceptance is an important thing that we need to pick up uh, at this point in time. So this was Rama's beauty. So they are saying, Nachasya Mahati Lakshmi Rajya Nasho Apakarshati Nachasya Mahati Lakshmi there is no alakshmi, there is no reduction in the beauty of Rama or the happiness in the face of Rama or the splendor in the face of Rama because Rajya Nasho, because the kingdom is gone, Apakarshati, the kingdom has been taken away from him, there was no change in Rama at all. Navanam Gantukamasya, it's an interesting verse, it starts with a na. Uh, it may mean, na varam gantu kamasya. Rama did not want to go to forest. No, that's not the meaning. The na is being preserved for the second piece. So, varam gantu kamasya. The actual meaning is, Rama really wanted to go to the forest. It's not that he was, uh, it's not that for the sake of everybody, externally, sometimes, you know, uh, we, we externally we want to be devotees. Externally we want to show we are a happy husband and wife. Inside we know what is happening. Uh, so many things externally we want to depict. But internally we know the difficulty. Many of us want to externally show that we are very well to do. We wear the greatest, uh, latest uh, branded stuff. and we, So all this is external depiction. No, this is not Rama's case. What is Rama's case? Varam gantuka masya tyajatischa vasundara This is Rama's actual desire. Father has said, I am very happy. Now I sincerely want to go to the forest. Giving up, Tejatascha Vasundara, by giving up, ruling this earth. Vasundara means the earth. Yes, giving up, ruling the earth. Then, Sarvaloka Ati Gasyeva Lakshate Chitta Vikriya. Uh, by all the worldly affairs, the usual worldly problems that people have, that was not Rama's problem. What has he done? Tyajatischa Vasundaram, we said. So here, he says, Sarvaloka Ati Gasyeva Lakshate 
chitta vikriya in his mind there was not one change there was not one happiness face is the index of the mind if one is an unhappy person it will go it will clearly show on the face of the person can you hide it for how long can you hide it uh, it will come out you can keep you know painting uh, new emotions on on your face but that's not the eternality and that will not last so it's not possible to hide something like this so the acharya say rama was determined to renounce the kingdom and go to the forest so none could see any change in his mind from his face because of his attachment to worldly affairs oh is that so then you know within himself uh, you know what, what was happening what was happening within rama so the answer is darayan manasa dukkham there is dukkham yes but darayan he is holding it apne andar dhar lenge he is holding it within themselves there are people who express their happiness they are distressed they are everything immediately to people yes there are many people who do uh, like that but that's not what we learn from rama what do we need to learn from rama we need to learn from rama that we should be able to hold our things within dharayam manasa dukkham indriyani nigrahasya cha why because he has already won over his indriyas his indriyas were under his control his mind was under his control therefore he had no problem what is our this thing indriyani paranyahu indriye bya parammanah manasastu para buddhe yo buddhe paratastu sah so there is a gradation we need to be able to control this if we don't control then we are going to ashantyas utas sukham where is shanti for that person where is sukha for that person it is not possible so the next point that is uh, made नालक्ष्यम रामस्त रामस्य किंचित आकारमानमे इन रामस फेस द फेस वाज ऑलवेज स्माइलिंग आई वाज टेलिंग माय किड्स इन द व्हेन वी वर यंग वी यूज्ड टू वॉच सम ऑफ दीस मूवीज दैट केम ऑन रामा एंड कृष्णा एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम वेयर एंटी रामा राव सो सम ऑफ द ब्यूटीफुल मूवीज दैट वर मेड एवर स्माइलिंग यस यू सी दैट सो ऑन द फेस यू सी दैट ऑफ एंटी रामा राव so why why is he depicting it that way because it's there in the scripture so if you see rama has got that beautiful smile how much will this mean to us if only we can hold always try to remember that rama was an always smiling person will we be in a position to hold that super smile each of us even in difficult times things may be difficult things may be bad but if we can hold that smile just keeping rama in mind Uh, that from his face, ah, uh, kinchit akaram, ah, nani akaram means vikar. Is there any change in his face? No. He's the same smiling person. After he heard that he's going to the forest for fourteen years, wearing only jata chira dhari. Yes, that's his situation. Now the next point that is made, uchitam cha mahabahu, the strong armed Rama, na jahai. Harshamatma na ha. He never left. Harshamatma. Even there, he is smiling. There is a beautiful, resplendent smile that everybody is seeing. And then, when he meets everybody, what is he doing? He is saying hi to the little kid on the side. He is doing pranams to some of the elders, smiling to the ladies who are there. He is making a mention to some of the mantris and others that they can move on. Yes. Vachanam Madura, Madura ya Rama. Sarvam sammanam yam janam. He is giving sammanam to everybody. Samman de rahe sab log ko, huh? And he is speaking to everybody. But where, where is he heading? Maatu samipam dhiratma. So the word that is being used is dhiratma. One is dhira. One is courage. Courage is under any circumstance. Pravivesha mahayasha. and it is this dhira nature that rama had which made him glorious and famous personality hmm? saumitre anubhav praja darayan tukkamat majam yes seeing him lakshmana also 
Dharayam Dukma Dukkam Atmajam held on to his Dukkha without ever showing anything to anybody. The question comes, why did Rama do this? He is just trying to put up an artificial face that uh, you know no, nobody can break him. Uh, what is happening? Why did Rama have to do this? That becomes a question. Yes? So then Valmiki gives the answer and Valmiki is saying Surajjana Syatma Vipati Shankaya Apna Surajjana Those people who are dear to him All those friends who are there People who came to him All of the Deshwasis who are standing out there Happily expecting this particular event He is afraid within him He doesn't want to hurt uh, Vipati Vipat Vipata Samtuta uh, May give me distress So that Vipati he does not want to give that distress to people. Shankaya, look at this. He is going through the greatest distress. And this Rama does not want to give distress to anybody else. That's the most important point um, that uh, we are able to bring out, out of this section. Now, I want to deal with... See, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Ramayana is mentioned in various places, multiple times. Many beautiful verses coming by. Now, when you say you talk about somebody, you talk about some specific person, you will talk about the most important if somebody gives you an opportunity to say 10 sentences about somebody. Yes, what will you do? You won't pick the smallest, uh, invisible, uh, uh, unknown, uh, you know, uh, doesn't make a difference kind of point. You will pick the most important points. Like that, Shukadev Goswami speaks really Sankshepa, Ramayana in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the 9th canto, 10th chapter. In that chapter, in the 8th verse, this is what he is saying. We are hearing this particular Leela from Shukadev Goswami from the Sri Srimad Bhagavatam. Yas Satya Pasha Parivita Pitur Nidesham. Now, Pasha, there is one other shloka where we hear this word Pasha. Prasangam, Ajaram, Pasham, Atmana, Kavayo, Viduhu, Pasha. Wherever, which other place do you have here? Pasha. Pasha means rope. Yama Pasha means the rope of Yama. Uh, Prema Pasha is the rope of love. And that's what bound um, Damodar. So, where else do you hear the word Pasha? See, just as Krishna is bound by the love of his devotees. Rama is also the same personality. But here, when they are using Satya Pasha, Parivita, means he is bound by the rope of Satya. For the sake of fulfilling Satya, he had to put this in place. So it is it is not Tatas Prema Bhakti. Yes, it, it is not that zone. Here, he is that, that Satya is, is binding him because he is a king. And he's playing that ideal king's role. Parivita Piturni Desham. And the second part is first is Satya. And the second part is the fact that the same happens to be his father's instruction. These are two things. Right? Even when Rama was born. When Rama was born. One of the first things that uh, uh, was said about Rama. Pitaram Rochaya Mahasa. Even before Rama was born. Uh, Vishnu. Desire. What did he desire? He desired that I will have a father. Pitaram Rochaya Masa. So here, uh, therefore, what is major aspect of Rama? That Shukadev Goswami, not Valmiki, Shukadev Goswami in the Srimad Bhagavatam is saying about Rama. Yes, Satya Pasha Parivita Pitur Nidesha. Yes, to listen to and abide by the father's instruction and to put Satya in place. Strainyasya Cha Api. Being instructed by a woman, his wife, Kaikeyi, Srainyasya Chapi, Shirasa Jagrihe, Shirasa Jagrihe, he put his head forward and accepted what that woman Kaikeyi wanted through the father. Srainyasya Chapi, Shirasa Jagrihe, Sabarya, with who? He didn't do it alone. Sabarya. He went along with his wife. So he is summarizing it nicely for us. Then, Rajyam Shriyam Pranayinaha 
what are the things he left rajyam shreyam all the glories of ruling a kingdom pranayinaha people who are dear near dear relative suhrudo nivasam and to live with them to live in those glorious kingdom to live in all that opulence and wealth hmm. he gave all that up is it easy you know when when people who invested in the stock market now are all crying uh, people who have been heavily invested in the stock market are crying people who have businesses are crying people who have jobs are crying everybody is crying but in reality from our life what percentage has been taken away from us and for how long we know it may be one and a half months we may we know in worst case scenario it will be one and a half years but here is a 14 year a sojourn where he is going to give up rajyam the utmost glory and comfort and pranayinaha people who are most dear to him suhrudo people who are very very dear to his heart nivasam tyaktva yayau giving it all up he went where did he go vanam asuniva asuniva gatasun agatasun shah asun is to live life so he will go and live there how did he go mukta sangah i don't know whether you have heard some people say they tell their wife if you do like this one more time i will leave this house and go they say that fellow never leaves the house ऐसे धमकी देता है बोलता रहता है वो कभी करेगा नहीं है यहां जाओ जाओ जिधर जाना है जाओ यू नॉट गो बट दो हैव दैट स्पिरिट ऑफ मुक्त संगा टू हुम अटैचमेंट टू दीज थिंग्स हैव गॉन ही इज नॉट हियर फॉर मेटीरियल एंजॉयमेंट दैट इज वाई अर्लियर ही सेस ना हमर तपरो देवी यस ऋषि बिस तुल्यम नो मी एज इक्वल टू द ऋषि एंड दैट पॉइंट here is coming from the mouth of shukadev goswami here to say i am reading the translation carrying out the order of his father who was bound by a promise to his wife lord ramachandra left behind his kingdom opulence friends well wishers residence and everything else just as a liberated soul gives up his life see we have various attachments yes a sanyasi first when one becomes vanaprastha one is supposed to give up uh, much of his money his business give all this up give up the family go and dedicate oneself completely to uh, promoting one's spiritual life that's the core purpose but then still there is one attachment even if one okay next level one goes to the level of sanyasi he gives up his wife also yes and then everything is regulated after that he is a public person in the public eye what is still one attachment or one thing that he is possessing even for a sanyasi the body still remains that's still his possession he may have three pieces of clothing that's why sanyasi should not be try to live a resplendent life that i best buy the best clothing that's available in the world i buy i live in the best circumstances uh, that's not a sanyasi's life a sanyasi should be ready to take whatever comes by it should be neat and clean but not that it needs to be opulent this is not a sanyasi's dharma at all hmm? so this is so for a sanyasi to give up his body at last what will happen he says i have given up everything baba only one thing i have take that that's the last thing le jao baki to maine already i have given up but for all of us who are attached to every single thing whether it is our wives or our wife sorry plural may problem ho jayega huh? whether it is our wife children uh, money job attachment friends whatever it is all that we have to give up in one shot and that is death and that's why we are so afraid of death but for a sanyasi what is the fear for death one body i have other things i have given up hare krishna whatever i i tried to do something for you therefore in the vedic system they teach us how to slowly give up these attachments and move to a situation where we have only one attachment as mataji was saying the 
the one attachment being the attachment to the Lord, every other attachment becomes secondary, tertiary and away. So that's a very, very important point. So here Shukadeva Goswami being a renunciant himself, he is able to appreciate Rama's Tyaga. I was mentioning the previous time also. Therefore, Rama is known as Tyaga Raja, the king of all renunciants. Because, uh, and there are many people in this world, they say, I am renouncing everything. So many Acharyas, Vaishnava Acharyas ask them, what do you possess to renounce? The money you have, is it yours? The kapada you have, is it yours? Is anything yours that you are thinking, I am going to renounce it at this point in time? What do you possess to renounce? That is the question that is asked. Huh? So when people who don't have anything, make a big show and say, Sushke nire kakka saraha, shine vitte kah paribaraha, nyate tatve ka samsaraha. Majagovindam, Shankaracharya very beautifully says, Vayasi gate kah kama vikaraha. Prabhu, I have one over sexual desire. Ah, but now I am not attracted to all these things. Prabhu, what is your age? Oh, 55, 60. That's not a big achievement, Baba. At 60, your body is not functional. What you have achieved, uh, uh, conquered over sexual desire? Uh, uh, what claim is that? So then, Sankaracharya is giving one example. If you want to understand this better, I will tell you. Sushkeni re kakka saraha. You go to a desert and I say, oh, I have, you are stuck in the middle of the desert. No water is there. You say, I have given up water. Bhaiya, pani nahi mila pine ke liye. What given up water? Same way, shine vitte ka parivaraha. I have given up my family. I have left my family. I am not able to, you know, I don't want to put up with this all anymore. I am given up. Now I have gone to a different level. Capability nahi hai, family left you. Is that an achievement? Shine vitte ka parivaraha. In a similar manner, Shankaracharya says, Nyate tatve ka santaraha. For one who actually understands the true tattva of life, what is there in this material world that is going to keep him attached or in difficult times, it is not possible. So very, very heavy tattva coming from uh, this particular point and from Bajago in them so beautifully. Why do we read uh, this so uh, uh, looking like very difficult to the heart segments? Uh, I was remembering one other, some of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas explained this verse. the fact is, for the Jivatma, for the living entity, which is troubled, Tapta Jivana, being burnt by the material situation, what is the only respite? It is only the Lord's beautiful stories, Katha. And that is the nectar which can cool down our hearts. Tapta Jivana, Kavi Bhiri Nitam. This is what the great Kavis, Adi Kavi onwards. Uh, 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 Brahma is also referred to as Adi Kavi. Valmiki is also referred to as Adi Kavi in many places because he is supposed to be one of the first Kavis. Kavi Bhiri Nitam Kalma Shapa. By hearing these wonderful qualities of Rama and Krishna, all their activities, all the Kalmasha, all the nonsense that is resident in the heart is going away. Pradyanta Stoi Badrani Vidunoti Suhrut Satam and Sadhyo Pradyavarudyate Atra Krutivihi Susru Shubihi Tatshana by listening Susru Shubihi by hearing by doing Seva too in the form of hearing Tatshana immediately one gets the Lord Rama and Krishna come and get seated in our heart and then Shravana Mungalam Srimadatatam this is Shravana Mangalam. Just by hearing, it is going to give us auspiciousness. Yes, our minds will be purified. Our minds will be auspicious. 
So why are we sitting in these difficult times to listen to this? Because do we have no, anything else that can help us at this time? And therefore, Prabhupada says, Shri Madhatatam, uh, uh, it is going to broadcast the glories of the Lord. And by doing that, Bhuvi Grinanti, Grinanti, Shrinvanti, Gayanti, Grinanti, Sadavaha. Hmm? So what do the sadhus do? First Shrinvanti, then Gayanti, then Grinanti. They share it with others. You hear something good, you will of course go and share it with somebody else. You will see, find one, one nice WhatsApp message. What are you going to do? Immediately share, 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 share. This whole thing is running only because of our craze to share. So there is a natural desire to share anything that is good. But what is truly good for everybody? Uh, for Jagat Pavitram, that which can purify the whole world. Pragranita Karhichit. Tad Vayasam Kirtam Ushanti Manasa. Yes, but like crows, we pick all this crappy stuff and pass on to each other on WhatsApp. Yes, this news, that news, this small, some joke somebody has sent somewhere. Well, some lightheartedness is needed, but people just live on these things. Uh, is this life? Is this the purpose? Bhuvi Grinanti Te Ye Bhuridajana Those really broad-minded people who have achieved, they will go and broadcast this to everybody. Okay, having spoken uh, this long today, now is a segment we are moving to, which is going to be participative, seriously participative. So I want you all to not take too much time. Uh, please be with your hands ready to switch on the mics. and But take turns, have discipline. I am unfortunately having two forums, so I may have to uh, monitor both forums and manage both forums. Please bear with me for that. First is the title for the day. Buy your father a greeting card. What do you understand from the title? Can I hear from everybody? This is fully participative. We are going to have probably another half an hour, uh, 40 minutes. We may even close early for the day. Yeah. So what do you understand from the title? Can I hear from everybody, please? Participation. Hare Krishna. Uh, some of it is to show up. Yes, Mataji. Show our gratitude. Very nice. Show our gratitude, Padma Priya Mataji. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Yes. Somebody else on this forum? It has to make them feel that we are always with them. We are always near to them. Okay. Buy your father a greeting card. Okay. Uh, Kumar. Kumar. Goliath. To reaching out to them. Very nice. Very nice, reaching out to them. Somebody else, any comments? Those who have spoken, please put your mics off. Anybody else? Sharada ji? To show that we love them, okay. Another contribution, okay. What else? Recognize their efforts. Boy, Rishabh, smart guy. Nice point, to recognize their efforts. Wow, super. Very happy to hear. Now, you know the actual greeting card you need to buy for your for your father? It's good to buy and send your father or your mother. Today it's, it's Father's Day for us. Uh, very soon the next session will be Mother's Day. So today don't mothers don't get hurt. Huh? I'm talking more about the father today. So let's hear and let's focus on the father today. I saw Chinmay leave. I want all youth to stick to this forum. It matters a lot to us. We are going to be discussing the father. Now, how did Rama show? What kind of greeting card did Rama give his father? Let's talk about that. What was the greeting card that Rama gave his father? How did Rama show his father his affection and, and love? Very nice. But by showing discipline in following the father's instruction. That's the major thing. To follow the father's instruction. That's a very, very important point. Okay. What else? How else did Rama actually show his father to, for having kept his father's promise? Very nice. Thank you very much. Who was that? Hari. Okay. To, to have kept his father's promise. What else? What else? Any other contribution? Um, uh, Rama did Pradakshina. 
Krishna to both Dashrata and Kaiki before leaving. Very nice. Very Rama did Dashrata Pradakshina to his parents, both of them, before he left. And that's a wonderful practice. Yeah. It's an important thing. How many of you ever have done Pradakshina to your parents? Very nice. After she's, the daughter saw Ganesha doing Pradakshina to Shiva and Parvati, one of the daughters here uh, did Pradakshina to the mother. That's the greatest joy actually for the parents and the amount of blessings you get is phenomenal. So that's you have never done. Whenever you get the first opportunity, don't miss. Catch up with that. My request is all of you, I want you to write this down in your to-dos. But when they are here, we should do Pradakshina to them. So this is first take home for everybody on this forum. When your parents are there, your parents may say, oh, what are you doing? Some of our elders will say, I know. There are many people, oh, you know, don't do this for people who are alive. They don't know anything. Ask them to read Ramayana, then you understand what you have to do with parents. So doing Pradakshina for parents, doing Pranam for parents is a very, very important point. Apart from that, for the father specifically, listening to the instruction that the father is giving is the most important duty that anybody can do to one's father. It is very, very important. But all of us will remember our fathers for some specific things that they have done for us. Can I suggest this forum today recount and talk about what the fathers have done for us? Can I have one one, each one of us, switch on your mic and sort of make contribution. The first contribution will cover all the rest. So, please, what do you remember your fathers having done for you? Yes. I remember my father, you know, he he was, when, when, I, when I was born, I was just sharing it with my kids about uh, three, four days back, that he put me in a school for which the fees was 80 rupees per month in those days. Wow. 19, 1968. Mm. And my father's salary, the time I was born and I was gone to school, after four years, five, four years, four and a half years, I started going to the school. And in those days, his salary was 120 rupees. Hare Krishna. So, I mean, so he, people asked him, like, your salary is 120 rupees and you are like, he's saying the Lord will give, you know. And after like six months or so, he started his own business. Uh, of course, my, my mamaji supported him. I can't even forget my, ma my mamaji is still alive. And I'm always, you know, grateful to him that in those days, he uh, gave my father a loan of 7,000 rupees which was like in 1968-69, a big thing, you know. So my dad uh, tried to do everything for us and used to work very hard because he was... He, he tried the truck himself, his business, so he used to drive. And in, uh, in Rajasthan, I'm from Ajmer, in Rajasthan, the summer is so hot, it's so serious. You know, and in those days to drive a truck where there's no air condition and the heat of the engine used to come on you. So if you drive like, you know, four hours, like you're roasted inside and you used to drive like about seven, eight hours. And I don't know what all my dad did just to educate us and to bring us up to this level. So Very nice. the day I came to Dubai in 1982 and after three, four years, like I started remitting some money. So I think 1988 or so when I started my own business here, that was the time I told him like no more need for you to work and get retired. And I think he was one of his own kind, so he retired at the age of, at the age of uh, 50 or 51. Hare and uh, after that, I mean, uh, uh, social work and <laughs> Jai. Uh, he, Thank you, Mahesh Prabhu. Helping the society, everything. So, I mean, I I can go on and on and on talking about my dad. But but the only, 
but in the whole whole whatever time i i was with him i we lost him 10 years back uh, and only once in his whole life he slapped me only once slap that's it हरे कृष्ण जय थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो महेश अद्वानी जी वॉज शेयरिंग अबाउट वॉट इज फादर इज डन एंड हाउ मच ईच ऑफ आर पेरेंट्स हैव डन फॉर अस वेरी नाइस आई 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 हैव अ पॉइंट टू मेक फ्रॉम कुमार टू शेयर विद अदर फोरम आल्सो टू से दैट इज फादर वुड एट्रीब्यूट एवरीथिंग गुड और बैड दैट हैपेंस ही वुड एट्रीब्यूट इट टू अयपा so kumar became half an atheist because of that but as maturity comes then we understand what our great elders have given to us very nice very nice beautiful point the fact that they have given us our body that's the first great gift that they've given with that we achieve everything else very nice very nice what else oh my father also like uh, father of my father prabhu was very interested in my education Okay. So he also went out of his way to educate me in a good college, good school, and uh, he basically the concept that he always gave very important, high importance to education, and he would spend as much as more than what was possible in what my neighbors also uh, like. I was going to much better school than my neighbors' students and children were going to. So, so and my father was always sure that I got the best of education. Even when I went to uh, study in IIT, he was the one who pushed me into a coaching center, and that's how I got into got into the IIT. Wow! So, so Indra Krishna Prabhu shares with us that his father insisted on having the best education for his children. This is a lot of our parents. Actually, many people who write about education and cost of having children say, "Or oh, today's parlance, each child will cost you a minimum one to one and a half million." Drums just to pollen portion and take care of their education and what an investment! What an investment the the parents have done. First they gave our body. How much love and affection have they shown us? Can any of you share one small any one small way that your father showed affection for you? Any one of you, please one item. Uh, so on the other forum, I had somebody say that when she was young. she would be very impudent not listening to what the parents uh, the father had to say but the next day he would deal with her as if nothing ever happened these are the these are the wonderful things uh, to be forgiving when we do mistakes let us remember when they become old there are many things that will go wrong at that time we should not get back to them and be uh, you know unko jhadna to blame them speak rudely to them these are things that should not be done uh, for all that they have given somebody on the other forum palvika mata ji you had something to say about your father hare krishna prabhu ji um um actually my dad is like he he helped me and supported me everything i did in spite of people um criticizing him for supporting me for whatever i wanted I wanted to go for music classes. He supported me. He woke up at five thirty to just take me to the classes mm. for almost many years, and he uh, took me to wherever I wanted to interviews, to classes, everything. He dropped me off, and since I'm a girl child, he always supported me and protected me in every step. Very nice. To Very nice. To make sure that I'm safe and also protected, and also Hare Krishna. whatever I want. Uh, yes. So. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you for that very nice, beautiful contribution. It's important, specifically the girl child. I will always remember the protective father who looks out for them, uh, who will go take a tucker with some fellow who, who doesn't like it. Guys who are looking at this girl a little improperly. How many things? Waking up in the morning, setting an alarm, picking them up, dropping them. What all parents have done for us? Yes. Uh, how they have shown love and affection to all of us. Uh, how much pain they have felt when we have not been in help taking us to the doctor utha ke bhag bhagna are bacche ko fever zyada ho gaya let us run do this do that how much love and affection how much good advice they have given jadna aur uh, purnanand prabhu was saying jadte hain but that advice uh, mahesh prabhu was saying ek bar tapad mila wo tapad se aadmi sudra 
वो जानने से आदमी सुधरा यस वॉट एवर आवर पेरेंट्स हैव डन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी हैव बिकम शेप टू बिकम वॉट वी आर वॉट एवर दे डिड देर वॉज नो पर्सनल इन विल इट वॉज ओनली मेंट फॉर आर वेल बींग वॉट एल्स एनी अदर पॉइंट अबाउट I have some comments that have been shared, and I want to read. Uh, my father took the place of my mother and did both the roles to the best of his ability. That's a much tougher situation. I have also seen that in the family many times. Say the mother is not uh, physically capable, or mother passes on, or in many other circumstances, sometimes they have to play both the roles. And to play both the roles, that really needs a medal. how much they have done for us we should always remember another mataji uh, here contributes to say that my father has contributed a lot for me has always helped me in my development in my education uh, in every way he could beautiful that's a very very important point nand kishor prabhu was making for the uh, well being for the other forum that we make mistakes but when we make that mistakes it is with the father that we don't have to be afraid ठीक है बड़ा कुछ हो गया किसी और और किसके पास जाके बोलेंगे वी शुड बिल्ड दैट रिलेशनशिप बाय विच वी कैन गो टू आवर फादर एंड शेयर दैट विद हिम सो ही वाज सेइंग ही वुड ऑलवेज सेम विद मी इफ समथिंग बिग रियली हैपेंस इन माय लाइफ देयर इज वन गो टू पर्सन एंड दैट्स अ फादर मम्मी विल गेट फ्राइटेंड विल शी बी एबल टू रिजॉल्व अफेक्शन मेनी अदर थिंग्स बट इफ देयर इज समबडी हु इज गोइंग टू बी आबद बांधव एट दैट टाइम शो स्ट्रेंथ शो capability show understanding i narrate one one thing for you it's an interesting small incident but it shows how smart and capable fathers can be in some difficult times once um, something happened i think shrivel of prabhu was standing outside the house and uh, it looked like an altercation with some guy uh, outside so my father realized that and immediately my father went in there he pitched in for him you know what my father did suddenly this guy was a you know sardar ji or something this is immediately after indira gandhi was gone <laughs> so my father suddenly looked up oh you are sardar ji you punjabi fellows you have come to he just made a big show for nothing he screamed and then he looked towards the house and i was standing far away the house is little inside he looked at me and he said dadu come here call the others there was nobody else in the house but he when he said come here am i kya pehlwan ho gaya when i got out of that place i came running so this fellow got frightened that many other people are coming elders know what to do and how to do how many things they have done to defend us to take care of us give us uh, buddhi i am reading some more one mata ji says my father used to pick me up and drop me for my exams he is my google and my motivational speaker he gifted me my first bhagavad gita as it is in 1999 another mata ji has to share rasa vilasani mata ji true many fathers are googles till the time the kids think they know better than the father now i know better than the father oh he doesn't know this after a particular age kids start to realize that the father also doesn't know a few things you know till then they think he is everything for them what a what a personality there if today whatever we are it's because of their hard work and sacrifices that we can't do or try to do satyam 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 jay nandwani very valid point bharat shah prabhu says household skills preparing for future life and honoring guests these are three different items we seek and learn from our parents which are important to us there is one more two more contributions father has always been my source of motivation one person who is always available for me to go back to no matter in any and every situation ah uh, father has has motivated us in all tough situations to never give up ah uh, i had some very difficult times um during some of my exams in my 10th i had uh, some Uh, seven and a half year shani and it rocked me like anything so one day the principal whenever i used to have trouble with school teachers my father was on my side not on the school teachers side every time same with shrivala prabhu also if if the hindi teacher complains in the school about us 
then my father will say you are not doing your job <laughs> will never let go of us that's the rock that they have been for us i think that my father does not love me much but whenever i have been in pain uh, or i am suffering he always comes to me and says are you all right this is when i realize how much he loves me we think we don't list the number of things ah uh, who if 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 you are having a kingdom a, a, a country to live a place a peaceful uh, situation to live you should be thankful to the rulers of the place it's not that that person is coming meeting you saying hello how are you are you in pain i love you it's not the fact that he loves you he has set up this full setup has been done therefore you are a loved praja uh, therefore you have to thank raja just like that the father just yes, mahesh adwani prabhu was giving example he has to drive 8 hours a day go to work sit in the dukan do this do that go through all of those problems to keep the house alive to keep a circumstance alive where you can get your education to see that the wife is getting what she needs the each kid and their requirements these are not small things many things that the parents do and then they get occupational diseases now uh, they are always on a sitting job they depending on what they are doing high blood pressure if it is a pressure oriented job so many things they have to endure so it's not that what the how much the father loves for you will be shown like how the mother shows your love for you because the mother is always sitting with you at home she is feeding you when she feeds you she will give two kisses and along with that she will feed you the father has not the time to feed you but the father is the source of the food that you are getting therefore it is not very easy to quantify what the father has to provide my father always led and guided us by example but in how to handle different situations failures how to have good etiquette and how to chant your rounds every morning wow nice nayar sharat wonderful wonderful parents any other contributions specifically for what we should be thankful to our father about can we hear this is the greeting this is the greeting card i was talking about so true hari krishna i repeat what mataji has said for the other forum uh, mataji was mentioning father is 80 years old but even now if there is something to be done for her wherever he is he immediately gets there that's how much love and affection one has for their children yes it's it's a very rare thing how much the mother can get it to difficulty for their child for her uh, child father may not show Uh, it's uh, as much i want to give you a couple of examples in that direction so to conclude more or less i have to say first they gave us our body the love and affection that they have shown yes the amount of pain they have taken us picking us up dropping us taking us to our first day in college uh, admission for school this that go fight for us uh, you know many times we are nalaik we have done so many mistakes uh, we have been against them we have spoken against them we have not we have been thankless we have done so many mistakes but still none of those things are deterring them in any way from doing their duties of a father uh, for the love that has been shown the pain that has been felt when we were unwell the advice that has been given how tolerant they have been towards our mistakes the trips they took us out on okay let's all go out somewhere all of our childhood memories the wonderful uh, food uh, places that we went to or you know seeing to it that special things are cooked bought home for us remembering that this boy or this girl likes this asking us every diwali what do you want getting us dresses pataka what not how many things we are going to the gift that they have given us the fun things that we did together there are many times i would always have this image of my father sitting there and admiring me uh, whether i am doing kirtan or whether i am giving a talk he is such a big fan of his children so the children get so much utsaha that here is here is the man uh, who really made things happen for us uh, i also have to say my father was a very less affair person shrivala prabhu asked us to speak about our father so i thought i'll dovetail both those activities my father was one rare person when me or shrivala prabhu was standing next to him generally i would have my leg tribanga form one leg bent and hand on his shoulder this is the standard posture many many times that's the kind of friend that he was my father uh, when he was switching a job he would come to us and all of us i was in grade 6 at that time 
and he said, this is my salary. He's got my sister, younger sister and me there. And he says, this is my salary. This is the new offer I have. This is the position. This is the place we have to go to. After giving the full details, he says, what do you think? What is your opinion? This is like Lord Rama asking all the monkeys for their opinion. <laughs> yes, just kindness, sheer kindness, participative management. Uh, to me, even now, therefore, I follow his foot, try to follow his footsteps and I engage my children or whether it is the youth class, youth class, all the youth run the youth class. It's not Mejo Bola that, or, you know, that, that's not how it is. So these are beautiful things that our elders have given us and, and shown us that they care. They care to hear from us. Uh, it is very, very important. The fun things we did with them. Years of providing for the family selflessly and how many things that they have done. Listless. Any last comment to close about what anything in general that I have missed out on what our fathers have done for us. For the benefit of the other forum, Mataji is saying her father uh, used to be the go-to person for her. Uh, and he helped her step by step so that she could rebuild her confidence and come over it. I have somebody else uh, contribute here. Yeah, my father uh, always taught me to be strong. He was not very, uh, not very emotional and hence I take him wrong, but only to realize that he loves me, but in a different way. He has made many sacrifices and come a long way to enjoy, but for us to enjoy. Long way not to enjoy, for us to enjoy. Every small amount of happiness in my life lights up a smile on his face. Yes. And when, when they see us do well, you see how, how our parents are so happy to see us. This love uh, is, is very special and it cannot be repaid very easily. So with that, I'm coming to the next uh, point. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. A beautiful point uh, for the benefit of the other forum. Prabhu was mentioning that uh, his father was not when he was, in a, when he was young. His father did not permit him to leave the home whenever he wanted to. And therefore his father saw to it that uh, our devotee who just spoke had the opportunity to go out and explore uh, life in a big way. Because of which he came to Dubai, got an opportunity to be in Krishna consciousness by Prabhupada's mercy. And uh, uh, that was the main thing. And now his father he took him to the Parikrama and the father is also involved uh, nicely in Krishna consciousness, started chanting regularly, though they were not from a very uh, Vaishnav kind of uh, family. So wonderful contributions. Thank you. Thanks everybody for all the beautiful points. This is a topic. Why I took this topic today is all of us, when others say other points, we, we have to think what our father has done for us. If some of us think that our father has not done anything for us, then there is a problem. Uh, you have in your head. Uh, we need to understand that right now uh, I, I work with a bank. Now there are people who are in the bank who are in front end. They are the sales people or they are the people who are running the branches. They are at risk every day at this point in time. We are back office people. We are happily sitting at home and working from home. We can count how many very easy for us to talk about Corona and share WhatsApp messages. But the people who go out there, they are actually facing the difficulty. Yes, they are facing the tough time. Can you imagine how much we should be thankful to all the medicos who are doing that? Exactly like that. Please understand. There is the work from home back office mother. And the front office father who has got to go out there and face the coronavirus. Because outside the material world is full of virus. Uh, people of different problems, different mentalities. And they may become, they may have to face all of that problem in many ways. Therefore, when in the, the mother who is always in the back office, who is feeding you, who is talking to you every time, when she sees your face, she knows you are angry, you are not angry because she has the time to be able to observe that. Therefore, please don't underestimate the contribution. I am specifically making some of these points because I have a lot of youth on this forum. And I want the youth to clearly understand. Uh, we need to see that we are able to express our love and affection for them and then they will be also able to do that. But generally a man is a is sort of thick set with regard to how he wants to show his emotions. It may not come out as much as you will see with your mother. And this is also the same as I told you about the kingdom. 
being run. The Raja is there at a distance, but he is enabling everything for us. If there is law and order, we have to be thankful uh, to the Sheikh uh, for enabling that for us. That's very, very important for us. Now, I want you to bring to you to attention one more topic. And this is why I said today is a very important forum. I wanted as many people as possible to come into this forum. You see the treatment that Bharata got from his father Dasharatha. Was that, was that correct? What did Dasharatha have to say about Bharata? And why do you think, uh, if, if it was not, why do you think it was not? If you think it was correct, why do you think it was correct? Can I have a few contributions, please? What is the treatment that Bharata got from Dasharatha in the first place? Uh, uh, Prabhuji, uh, Dasharatha said that Bharata cannot light his uh, funeral pyre. Very nice. So Kumar Prabhu contributes to say that Dasharatha cursed, literally, to say that I don't want Bharata or you to have anything to do with my funeral. Bharata will not like my funeral pyre. That was a heavy, heavy statement to get. What was the problem with that statement? The problem with that statement is Bharata was not even here. Bharata was not even participant to this whole problem. But Bharata, again, now the area I'm getting into is very, very important. And I want everybody's attention very clearly uh, on this because it has a lot of implications on many of us. I'm specifically concerned about the youth also in this regard because we are having to see some difficult family situations and, and multiple other things. So I want you to keep these aspects in mind. What happened with, with this Bharata story? What happened with the Bharata story is the fact that the mother overawed the relationship that Dasharatha related Bharata directly to Kaikeyi and therefore Dasharatha thought he is going to be just like Kaikeyi. And that is a very big problem because Bharata was not like Kaikeyi. But Bharata did give him uh, uh, an opportunity to doubt, uh, 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 sorry, benefit of doubt. You know what he said? If Bharata also likes that Rama should go to forest, then may he not like my part is the point that was made there. That's a very, very important point. Now, what happened here is there is a boy or a girl who gets caught between the crossfire between the father and the mother. Many times this happens that there is a crossfire and there is somebody who gets unnecessary bullets in between. Baap gali deta hai maa ko to bacche ko do jhapad milega. Why did you do this? <laughs> These are some difficult situations sometimes. But what we need to, our more grown up kids, we need to understand many times we should not be this side or that side because we are biologically born to both of them. Therefore, we cannot be on one side and against the other side unless there is absolute truth on the other side. Now, how do you know? Lot of times we see that children are very swayed by what the mother has to say. What I am saying is a very subjective thing. Ghar ghar ki kahani or har ghar mein ye kahani can be a little different also. But children can very easily be impressioned by what the mother thinks of the father. If the mother shows respect to the father, children will show respect. If mother thinks father is useless, the children will also think that way. So that is an influence. I am not pleased. I am not trying to blame the mothers here. I am talking specific circumstances. Today, because we are talking about the father, we are trying to reason out as to how children should be able to understand. I have nothing against the mothers. Without the mothers, nothing can happen. So, now if there is one mother who relates to this, specifically if, if there is a mother who says the children should listen to me, if you go talk to your father, then don't talk to me. This is hellfire and this is not acceptable. A child should be in a position to deal with both parents in a neutral manner and have his own impressions made. And this is very important. Therefore, don't malign yourself by hearing from one direction. Never cut off individual communication. If any of you here have not had proper communication with your father, father for some time, please see to it that you open those channels up. Yes, please open those channels up. Go listen to his side of the story. Many times you never get to know what is his side of the story. 
and then you've already made a decision and you've already taken a direction. That's not going to help. So that's very important. Listen, uh, have those channels of communication open and uh, uh, don't encourage the feeling that you need to cut out from one to show allegiance to the other. That's not correct. That's not correct and it should not be done. I've seen many, many fathers completely um, alienated after a particular age, specifically when they are no more capable of earning and stuff like that. Then the mother still keeps talking about what he did in 1951 and uh, you know, and all of that stuff and the children get influenced by that. No, he's an individual who is given so much for all of us. We should see uh, that we are able to be there for him, uh, get, uh, get up time with him. Uh, give him the time, sit, talk to him, give give that those opportunities. These are very, very important things. Let's not miss out to do that. Now, <clears throat> I just read yesterday or day before a comment that domestic violence has seriously gone up in this coronavirus times. Here, where we are. Yes, in many places this is happening. You know why? Because actually we don't get along with each other. Till now, office was distracting us, taking half our time. Eight plus two. 10 hours taken away. So luckily we only have to put up with our wives for 4 hours or put up with our children only for 2-3 hours and then you know that kind of scenario. But now the reality stares us in our eyes. We all know we will have to come to the conclusion real understanding is who truly love us, who are really close to us. It will come out now because this is our opportunity to build uh, those relationships. Uh, there are some people who will be enjoying uh, this uh, work from home uh, quarantine scenario and some will be cursing it because they want to they're not able to go out and get their little bottle of whiskey or, or I, I don't know what uh, they, they, there'll be multiple things because of which they will not be able to do that but in reality this is the time when our relationships have to be fortified properly because you know I have to wash the vessels every day <coughs> Hare Krishna and someone of the other, each one in the family has to take up some responsibility because so we all have to cooperate. Otherwise, and the only form of entertainment which is eating us up is now the internet. So we can't all sit on the internet. No, for a working home, we all have to cooperate nicely. All that, that cooperation and happiness will have to be there in the family. How is that going to happen unless there is one leader who is able to give you some direction and instruction? It is not going to be possible. Therefore, in times like this, I request that we build that those relationships up nicely and understand that our parents are our true friends, our true well-wishers. Our friends, Ayaram, Gayaram, they will be here today. They may not be there tomorrow. Most of you young people who think that your college friends are, oh, such great people, your school friends are earth-shattering. Most of you will not even see them for the next 25 years after you finish school. Some little WhatsApp will be there. And that will all just dissipate into nothing. Who are your real friends? Who are your true well wishers? Those are the people with whom you are quarantined at this point in time. Uh, which in most of our cases will be our own family members. This is the time to build those relationships with our family members. So some of the things I definitely want you to take home from today's session is offer pronouns to your parents every day. If you want, you may adopt the Sindhi science style of lazy pranam, but still the beauty is they do it every day. The South Indian fellows does want full pranam, but he does it once a year. Uh, that was a rarity. If Diwali, his father comes and gives him his dress to wear, so that day they will do a pranam and take that from him. That's it. But it should be an everyday practice, obeying the instructions, specifically of the father. To support the mother with regard to household course. Yes, these are very, very important time, uh, things. Get some daddy time. Go sit next to him. Uh, uh, speak. Ask him about the experiences of his life. Drop your mobile phone. Get some time uh, and make up to your fathers. That's the greeting card that you will be giving them. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.